Hello friends, it's Eva and welcome to a new video. We're all going through hard times nowadays. I understand you if you're feeling tired, unmotivated and overwhelmed. It's hard to feel anything else when you're locked at home and staring at the screen all day long because of online school or university. However, when the second lockdown started, I finally understood how to remain productive and motivated. And today I'm going to share some of my ideas. This video is going to be separated into four parts. Atmosphere, organization, online classes and meetings, health, sports and food. Your surroundings are extremely important and really do have a large influence on your motivation levels and productivity. First of all, make sure that your space is tidy and clean, because clear space means clear mind. The importance of air quality should not be overlooked, as it can have a significant effect on your general sense of well-being. If it's possible for you, try staying with your window open for longer. Personally, I always stay with my window open in order to always breathe fresh air, and if I'm cold, I just wear warmer clothes. It is also worth bearing one simple fact in mind. The more oxygen goes to our brain, the better it works. Good lighting is also of significant importance when it comes to well-being, productivity and motivation. Let some natural light into your room. Also, when working at your desk, make sure to always turn on your lamp. Right lighting will make you feel calmer, more positive and more creative. Definitely try making your working spot more cozy, because this way you will feel more like in the right place. For everybody it's different, maybe you can try decorating your room with art, create a vision board, light up candles as I like doing, or some fairy lights. Also, I know that people always get tired of studying or working in one place. When you're at school or university, for instance, you can switch between studying in your dorm, in the cafe or in the library. When you're at home, however, this is really hard to achieve. Still, if you can, try changing your places. But if you can't, here is a tip. Create a mood board right in front of your desk. You can switch it once in a month or something like this. This will make you feel like your location is somewhat changing. Here I have my Dark Academia mood board and here I have my vision board with my dreams. At least for me, organization and structure are extremely important. I cannot emphasize it enough. First of all, although we are all staying at home, write a schedule. Write down what you're doing every day so that you have a stable structure for your day. Remember that you are able to make one day differ from another. Create activities that you do only on a particular day. For example, on Monday evenings I always talk to my relatives. On Tuesday after school I have an online Pilates class. And on Wednesday mornings I always watch a TED talk. And so on. After you have created an everyday schedule, make sure to create a to-do list for every single day, either in the morning or in the previous evening. Write down all of the tasks that you need to complete throughout the day, including school or university assignments. Personally, I am so used to remaining always productive and having my day organized and structured that I can't imagine anything else. By the way, friends, comment down below if you would like to see a video about how I plan my day, week, month and year. I know how many people do not even have the motivation to roll out of bed and sit at their desk for lectures. Nevertheless, this is probably the worst thing that you can do to yourself, because this will ruin all of your energy to be happy and productive. If you treat the day like it's going to be great, it's going to be great. Always make your bed, brush and tie your hair, dress up well and keep your hygiene on a high level. This will make you feel more concentrated. I would recommend you, of course if possible, to turn your camera on during meetings. This will keep you accountable for what you're doing during classes and your performance will go up. Quarantine is hard times for all of the athletes because we don't move enough. 
This, however, is terrible for all aspects in our lives. We simply cannot function properly if we don't move. Of course, I would suggest trying different workouts as often as you can. This is perfect time to try new and interesting sports. Even a little bit of movement every day will make you feel a lot better. I would also recommend to do a small warm-up or workout in the breaks that you have between your classes. Imagine what will happen to our bodies if we don't move them for so many months. I always keep my water bottle on my desk to keep myself hydrated and my metabolism up. I know that you all know how important water is. Just the fact that we are made out of water by 80% says it all. Having self-discipline in lockdown when it comes to food is so hard. If you friends want any tips about nutrition and food, comment down below and I will make videos on that. I have completed educational courses in nutrition and health in universities such as Yale and Stanford and I would love to share all of the information with you. Thank you for watching my video to the end. I really hope that I gave you some motivation to work towards your dream. If you want to see videos more like this one, make sure to comment, like, subscribe and press the bell button. I hope you have a great day!